hi everyone to my ubuntu tutorial now in this tutorial uh, i will be working on the terminal so i'm capturing the terminal only now here in this movie what i want to tell you is uh, about the password security of the ubuntu now let me first give you some information now when we i know that the passwords are kept in a file called uh, etc uh, shadow under etc there is a shadow file now say if hackers some or somewhere knew that there is a file named etc shadow so and there they store the password of all the user so yeah uh, let's see he wants to go there and take a look at how the file looks so he simply types in cat that's to show the file and etc and there he go to shadow file and it will simply deny that uh, you can't read it the unix will tell you so this is the first uh, security protection they have now so some or some way the hacker have known that he's uh, he's a, he have become a super user some or some way so let's become super user first so we are now super users say the hacker is now super user who want to crack or want to know our password what it is so he did so and then he wants to take a look at the edc shadow file tw and under there he is concerned about the uh, user say in case it's me so i just try to find the username within this double code so i give it and he suddenly gets a entry and there he sees my name the username and he gets the password now is it really the password N not at all i don't add this long password uh basically it's an encrypted way uh of the uh, encrypted form of the password so when you first enter your password the unix system encrypts it and stores it like this way now remember this is a one-way encryption you can't um in fact you can't de decrypt to the original string uh, so it's uh, and after giving your password it is permanently stored here so the original password is stored nowhere in the system so uh, you can see the file permissioning using ls minus l on etc password i mean shadow w and you can see it has only read and write operation permitted to the root the super user and read permission to the group members only and nothing else for the others here in last three so as you can see there are several levels of security um, to reach that password file where all the password are stored but although uh, they have reached the password file they will get the encrypted form and indeed uh, your password is stored nowhere the original password and uh, then you might be wondering then how they uh, compare when you log in they actually process a process your input string and then they make the encryption that uh, long long encryption and process and the output string uh, with the output string they compare with this string is is it is it matching or not so it should be and when it matches they lock you in into the system so no matter how hard the uh, hacker tries he will never ever get your password and that's why uh, ubuntu and unix systems are so secure and finally i want to tell you that uh, the encryption process is con it contains just an only 30 steps so what do you think <laughs> is it very easy so the hacker really cracking that 30 step encryption process so uh, he deserves a nobel <laughs> Mm, so this is it uh, certainly these things are quite impossible and theoretically it is impossible to decrypt the password so the only way to log in into your system you have to know the password and that's what this tutorial 
telling you something about the password security of Ubuntu and Linux. And thanks for watching the video.